How's it going everybody? It's War and welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder and we have some pretty big Spider-Man No Way Home news. As I mentioned in my past videos, now that the filming for Spider-Man No Way Home is done and the editing process has begun, we could be getting some major leaks coming. And that is definitely true, but today's news actually comes from the actors themselves. We have news about Tobey Maguire in Spider-Man No Way Home and of course those crazy viral videos of Andrew Garfield going around of him stating that he's not going to be in the film. However, I'll break down why he is most likely lying. So if you were bummed out about Andrew Garfield stating that he's not in Spider-Man No Way Home, which by the way he didn't exactly state that, don't be bummed out because it doesn't really mean anything at this point in time. And I'll break down what that means in this video, but quick reminder, I'm still doing my Stormbreaker giveaway. All you have to do to enter subscribe to me and my other channel, Cosmic Culture. Details in the description down below. So before we dive into the not one but two videos of Andrew Garfield stating that he's not going to be in No Way Home, let's talk about the recent Tobey Maguire news. Pizza time. Recently, Tobey Maguire was spotted in LA. He was just simply walking down the street, walking his dog. Now, of course, that alone doesn't really mean anything, but if you combine it with a few things, things start to get a little bit more clear. The last time we saw Tobey Maguire out in public, he was going to get fitted for a costume. Now, obviously, the costume was not revealed, but the speculation was that he was getting fitted for another Spider-Man costume. It had been a few years, many years, since he put on his old Spider-Man costume from the Sam Raimi universe, so he needed to get fitted for another one. And here's the thing, when we saw him going to that fitting, he looked very different. He had a beard, he wasn't really in that good of shape, and here's the real kicker, he doesn't have any upcoming movies. Tobey Maguire hasn't actually been in a film since 2017 in which he just did a voiceover for Boss Baby. He was rumored to be eyed for the movie Babylon, but that movie is kind of at a standstill right now and nothing official has been announced. And since nothing official has been announced for that film and it's kind of at a standstill, it doesn't make sense that he he would go to a fitting for the movie. So the logical explanation is he was going to a fitting for Spider-Man No Way Home, in which he would have already filmed. Now he's back in LA and he looks a lot better. He doesn't have a beard anymore and it looks like he's in a lot better shape. Now of course he doesn't do all of the major stunts, but he does do some of the things that Spider-Man does, just like Tom Holland kind of does some of his own stunts as well. Now he's a little older so he does less, but since he hasn't really done much since 2017 in which he just did a voice over role, simply coming back to do a little bit of the Spider-Man moves would put him in better shape, which now he looks like he is in. And it's also kind of funny how he wasn't really spotted in LA between that time we saw him where we believed he was getting the fitting, and now, after the filming of Spider-Man No Way Home. So essentially he really wasn't spotted in public in LA during the whole entire filming of Spider-Man No Way Home. This is all pretty coincidental. That's a lot of things coming together pointing towards him being in Spider-Man No Way Home. There have been plenty of reports stating that he is coming back along with Andrew Garfield and heck, they could be wrong, but at this point in time, so many different outlets have reported that he is going to be in the film and there has been so much evidence towards this, like his stunt double being on the set of Spider-Man No Way Home and that is confirmed. It would just be insane if he actually really wasn't in the film. So of course, it's not 100% confirmed and it won't be until Marvel Studios straight up comes out and says it or we actually see them in the teaser trailer, it's still pretty high, like 95% confirmed. And I would actually say the same for Andrew Garfield, despite what he's been saying in recent interviews. I'm sure a lot of you know what I'm talking about, but if you don't, don't worry, I'll explain. Recently, Andrew Garfield has been doing some interviews for another movie that he's in. And of course, the people that were interviewing him had to ask about his involvement in Spider-Man No Way Home. And here's what he said to Josh Horowitz from the Happy Sad Confused podcast. Because obviously I don't even want to like ruin anything if there is something to ruin, except to <laughs> there say- There isn't anything to ruin, bro. I had to just quickly just cut you off. There's nothing to ruin. Really? Like like, it's so crazy to it's, like- It's just gotten out of hand. This is all bullsh bullshit. Dude, it's fucking hilarious to me because it's like, because I because I do have this Twitter account and I and I, I see like how often like Spider-Man is trending and, and it's like people freaking out about a thing. And I'm just like, guys, 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 like, oh, no. I, I, I wish I could just like be able to speak to everyone and say like, I How did really, this take off? Because you you are. I recommend that you chill. Like like, listen. I, I can't speak for anything else apart from myself. Sure. Like, like they might be doing something, <laughs> but it, then ain't none. Like I ain't I ain't got a call. So like. Okay. 
Well, that makes my life easier. Okay, no, that's, that's good. That's unequivocal. You know what it feels like though? It feels like, cause this hasn't come up yet in an interview, but like, do you ever play the game Werewolf? No. Or Mafia? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-huh. You know that game, I think it's kind of similar where it's like, you're convincing everyone that you're not in the Mafia. Right. <laughs> like, I feel like I'm in a game of fucking Werewolf or Mafia where I'm like, I'm not the Werewolf. I promise you, I am not the Werewolf. And everyone's like, you're the Werewolf. You're the fucking Werewolf. Look at him. He's like, he's doing... So pretty hilarious if it were true. I don't really believe him. Josh goes on to ask him straight up, so are you in this film? You're not in this film. And he doesn't give a direct answer. For, okay, so for the record, my friend, on a stack of whatever you have there, you are not, as of this taping, in or have any knowledge of being in the next Spider-Man movie. I feel <laughs> like... Like, I feel, I feel like I, I like, haven't I just said that? <laughs> I just you have, said I, just, that. I just want to get really clear. I want, this is this the unequivocal yes, no answer. I did not get a call. Maybe they shot you guerrilla style, like in mainstream <laughs> yeah, on the street. Like in mainstream. <laughs> listen, listen, I would, I would have gotten a call by now. That's what okay. I'm saying. Okay. Um, have Look, you watched... I don't want to, like, I don't want to rule anything out. Maybe they want to call me. Maybe they're going to yeah. call me like, and say like, hey, so what it seems like is that he definitely has some type of scripted material that he uses if he's asked by these media outlets and television shows that he just says. Because, let's be honest, if he was in the movie, which I believe he is, he can't say that he's in it. So he sticks to this werewolf story and I haven't gotten a call story that seems pretty rehearsed. As we see here, he actually says this again in another interview. In Spider-Man, No oh, Way man. Home, <laughs> you, oh, boy. What, do you, what do you think of those rumors? I feel, I feel like I'm in a game of werewolf and I'm just saying I'm not the werewolf. I'm not the werewolf. I promise you guys, I'm not the werewolf. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, it, listen, what people are talking about <laughs> is a really cool idea. And, and, and again, I haven't received a phone call, but you know. What do people expect him to say? He can't say yes. He can't just say, yeah, I am in the new Spider-Man movie with Tom Holland and oh, Tobey Maguire Spider-Man is going to come back as well. It's going to be super awesome and the Spider-Verse is really cool. He can't say that. I wish he could, but he can't. And this whole, I didn't get a call statement and the whole werewolf statement kind of seems very rehearsed. Maybe something Kevin Feige told them to say. Because in all of these interviews, he has never once said, no, I am not in the movie. Which is also kind of odd because many actors in the past have simply said, no, I'm not in the film. In fact, we have clips of other actors like Paul Rudd stating, no, I'm not the Ant-Man, that's a rumor. Or do you remember only a few months ago where a media outlet reported that Tatiana Manslany was going to be playing Jennifer for Walters, AKA She-Hulk, but then she came out and actually denied that she was going to be playing She-Hulk. Anchorman to Ant-Man? Was, oh, that's all rumor, man. Sorry. Nothing, you Nothing I know. All right. From her Emmy winning role on Orphan Black, so Marvel seemed like a perfect fit for her. Yeah, well, Tatiana now says, not so fast in an interview with the Sudbury star yesterday. What's up, Sudbury? Tatiana said Sudbury. that actually isn't a real thing. And it's like a press release that's gotten out of hand. It's totally not. I've been connected to these things in the past and press has gotten onto it, but it's not actually a thing, unfortunately. Only for it to be confirmed at Disney's Investor Day not too long after that. So again, Andrew just can't come out and say, hey, yeah, I'm in the film. That's never going to happen until they actually reveal that. But if we take a look at all of the evidence, like Jamie Foxx's Electro returning, Alfred Molina's Doc Ock returning, plus not to mention Alfred Molina stating that they're going to pick up where they left off in Spider-Man 2 from that river scene, combined with the fact that both Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire stunt doubles have been seen on set. And in fact, Andrew Garfield's stunt double has posted several videos of him on the set. And he's also tagged in his post both Tobey Maguire's and Tom Holland's stunt doubles as well. Plus a bunch of other little people pieces of evidence that all comes together that points towards the fact that both Andrew and Toby are going to be in Spider-Man No Way Home. Now, if they're really not in the movie, I'm going to be completely shocked because of all of this evidence pointing towards the fact that they are in the film. So it's not officially confirmed, but I'm betting that they really are. But let me know your thoughts about this in the comments down below. What do you think about all of this evidence? What do you think about Andrew Garfield saying in these interviews? Do you think they're going to be in the film or not? Let me know and don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date on all the latest Spider-Man No Way Home news. Don't forget to like this video and for live updates, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. As always, thank you all so much for watching.
Woof, woof.